you didn't create a schedule for your yeah, school, yeah. basically. That's These it. little little decisions have great impact towards mm-hmm. your future, you know? Yeah. And the scary part sometimes is you can't tell until after it's happened. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't tell, like, oh, maybe if I didn't do this, then this wouldn't have happened, right? You can't tell that yeah. until it's, it's already happened. So mm-hmm. I think it, it takes courage to be the one to, you know what, I'm going to pursue this. Because you don't know what the end results are going to be. Yeah. It's a risk. Mm-hmm. But if you have a passion for it, the risk is worth it, I think. Yeah. Everything uh, has a price to pay. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone has a price to pay for whatever you're doing. Like, if, yeah. uh, if you want something bad enough, you'll get it. But, like, there's a price to pay for that. You, you're you going to sacrifice time with your family. You're going to sacrifice time with friends or yeah. partying or whatever. But that's the price to pay in order to get to where you want to be. The opportunity cost is... Yeah. Miss Carlton would say, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's, there's a price to everything. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, sometimes the price isn't worth it, but in some cases, you know, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's a decision you got to make on your own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's a scary decision. So I'm pretty sure, you know, think about it. Like, um, they were either deciding, you know, should I, I give up my college and everything to mm-hmm. pursue this or do I keep going the, the, the safe route, you know? Yeah, the safe route that's gonna guarantee me a job somewhere, mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah, he could have. He could have. And not always, because there's a lot of people that get their degree, mm-hmm. they get out of college, and they have nowhere to go. Yeah, they don't know what to do with their degree. Mm-hmm. That's that's like one of the biggest things. That's why I looked at it early. Like, I saw all this. Like, people were working jobs that they don't even like to do. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you have a degree, you have all this stuff. Like, you don't even enjoy. What doing, you like to do, yeah. what, what you set out to do, like, for me, that that I wouldn't want to live like that. I think at so, least if you're going to, if you're living like that, try to pick up a hobby, you know? But, like, even even if you don't, like, like realize that you, you don't like to enjoy it and realize that you could change that. Yeah. You could change, like, if you don't want to do something, there's other things out there for yeah. you. And some people, you know, they might be a little older, like, in, in their 40s, 50s, yeah. but you could still change. Like, there's nobody stopping you except you. Yeah. But people will get too comfortable with, with that. Their, where they're at yeah. already. And they don't and want, they see like, to change. yeah, they see that there's other ways, but mm-hmm. they're too afraid that they're going to fail. But failure is a part of success. Yeah. There's no failure and success. It's failure Leads and to success. success. Yeah. It's not like two small different failures things. build up towards your success, yeah. right? Nobody that's ever been successful has not failed. Well, that, and that's only if if when you fail, you don't back down. Yeah, a lot of people fail once, and, and they, that's and they that's never pursue it thing. again. That's the patience. People have severe lack of patience. Yeah, when they're going at, it. they see that's not working. But if it's not working, change it. Yeah. You could change what you're doing, and, and I think something it, that's a little bit hard with that though, but yeah, is the older people. Mm-hmm. Maybe like, well, I call it old, but you know, maybe like they're getting towards their thirties, late thirties. Yeah. Those people, you know, they probably have families that they have to take care of. And so yeah. changing something would possibly put their family mm-hmm. in a worse position, you know? Yeah. And that, so a lot of times see, they don't, that's the, the a lot of times they don't want to do that. Like, right. Decision. And so, yeah. And so like the decision of, let's say the head of the household mm-hmm. to, to do something like that. And let's say it doesn't work out. Like the whole family is kind of screwed, you know. Now, yeah. now they're all lower in, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say um, status, but they have to. That they're, they're basically at a disadvantage now, you know. Yeah. Because they're struggling with all these financial problems now, mm-hmm. and so I would think that that's where the hobby comes in. Try if if you're working one of those jobs and you have family, try getting a, picking up like a hobby, something something you really enjoy doing. Yeah. And then start working that hobby until it becomes something that you can mm-hmm. you can have. Um, monetize yeah you can gain from yeah you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like work that hobby so that it starts making money for you Mm -hmm. and then that's when you have a safe place to go you know you have somewhere that you really enjoy doing Mm -hmm. but that you can dedicate a lot of time towards yeah and that's where it starts off really is something you enjoy some people find it early in life you know like yeah and those i'd say those are the lucky ones (laughs) yeah but it takes work to find that too. Like mm-hmm. if you if you expect to get that just with sitting around, yeah. you're not gonna. No, you have you have to apply you have yourself to, try to things. A lot and of see things. what you enjoy doing. Yeah, there's no way you could do it just like sitting around and not not yeah, thinking yeah. about. You got to ask yourself a lot of questions every single day. 
in your mind saying, uh, I like this, I don't like this, what can I do with it, what I like, uh, and expand from that. It's a struggle, but... You know, that's what it, it takes. It, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, life is hard, man. That, that's uh, the point, you know? I think life without suffering isn't ideal. Mm-hmm. There has to be suffering, you know? Yeah, that, that's why, like, there's a... I believe, like, there's a yin and the yang with everything. Like, yeah. there's... With absolute success comes with a lot of sacrifice yeah. and, like, losses. But it comes with, uh, like, every in, every circumstance that you're in, there's always a positive and a negative. And it, yeah, and the negative. Yeah. You know, a lot of times people don't want the positive because they don't want to go through the negative. Yeah. But a lot of times, you know, going through that negative mm-hmm. not only makes you a better person, but helps you get to the positive, you know? Yeah. And at the end goal, what do you want? You, you want a, something positive for society. Yeah. You want to make an impact. You want to be happy. Because and ideally, ideally you don't want to just change your life. You want to change other people's lives, right? Mm-hmm. You want to make the world better than it was before, yeah. mm-hmm. right? That's ideally which, what I would think any sane person would want to do. Yeah. I, I think that's what uh, most people want. But like want, sh- everybody wants to do it. No, but, but not everybody actually it. does it yeah not everybody actually puts in the time puts in the work and that's the difference 99 mm-hmm. percent of people won't do it but the one percent that do will be remembered in the history book